Hi, I'm Philip Preston. I'm here to introduce the PolyScience Immersion Circulator. And this unit will pump heat and control a tank up to about 7 gallons or 28 liters and control very precisely, plus or minus a few hundredths of a degree. To set the temperature, I just depress the set momentarily and turn the knob until I have the desired temperature I'm looking for. We'll just set it to 130 Fahrenheit. I can then press the button again to enter that set point or the unit will accept the set point after just a few seconds and switch over to display actual fluid temperature. Now, I can also enter preset temperatures and to do that I could just go into the set mode and then push one of the preset uh, P1, P2 or P3 numbers. Now anytime I need to access that set point I can just push P1, P2, P3 and immediately access my commonly used set points. To switch the unit between Fahrenheit and centigrade is quite easy. There's a power switch on the back of the unit. I switch that off. I push and hold the center button, power it back on, and now it's defaulted to Fahrenheit. If I switch it off, push and hold the P3 button while I'm powering it up, it's now defaulted to centigrade. The unit also has a local lockout feature. This feature allows me to push and hold the set button and after approximately 10 seconds the display will read LLO. That signifies that the unit is in a local lockout mode and local lockout prevents any inadvertent change of set point. I can no longer change the set point of this unit. To cancel the local lockout is exactly the same procedure. I just push and hold the, the set button for approximately 10 seconds and the display will switch to CAN. I have now canceled the local lockout. When the unit is operating, it is normal for this heat light to pulse, showing you that the unit is in a heating mode and applying just the amount of heat necessary for the application. On the front panel is also a safety system. This system uh, allows you to set a safety shutoff point. If I was working with water, I would set this to 100. This is calibrated in degrees centigrade. So this is telling you the point in which this unit will shut off. So uh, it's that redundant fail-safe system. It also will be activated in the event of a low liquid level condition. Now on the rear of the unit, would be a, where the power cord attaches to the unit. When you get your unit, ensure that you insert this fully. Also is that the main power switch and a switch for two-speed pumping. At high speed, this will pump at a rate of 15 liters per minute. At low speed, 7 liters per minute. Most commonly, in sous vide cooking, you would have this switch to the high speed. You would only switch it to low speed if you were working with something delicate, such as uh, poaching eggs. And that's the PolyScience Immersion Circulator, an excellent tool for sous vide cooking.